Now, it's my opinion that Joe Biden is the most unpopular president we have seen in a century, and that's why he knows the only way to stop President Trump from beating him in November is by putting him in jail. You talked about this, Mr. Fry. In the 247 years of this existence of this great nation, only one president has ever been indicted by the DOJ and has home raided by the FBI. Now, some have said that President Trump's indictment means that no one is above the law. Okay, all right, I would love to see that. But what about Hillary Clinton? And what about Joe Biden? And what about Hunter Biden, who is America's favorite son? Let me tell you something, I got a four-year-old daughter and a two-year-old daughter at my house. Hunter Biden to me is like glitter. He is on everything and you cannot get rid of him. And yet nothing is going to be done about this. We're sick of it. James Comey decided not to prosecute Hillary Clinton despite overwhelming evidence that she committed crimes. And as I recall, it was the position of the FBI to not prosecute because they didn't want to interfere with the presidential election. What do you call this? The Iowa caucuses are in six months. Six months. I think the American public would expect to see this from Cuba and from Venezuela and from Russia and from China, but not here. The people expect us to have blind justice. They expect equal justice under the law. It is not the job of the DOJ or the FBI to prosecute Joe Biden's top political opponent who was leading in every single primary poll, and the Iowa caucuses are in six months. Let the people decide. It's our job to uphold the Constitution. As a West Point grad and military veteran, this is the Constitution I give my life to protect, and I expect us all to uphold it likewise. Thank you so much for being here. Mr.